Do you have any suggestions for when people hit you up? What what should be included in the messaging? Like what sure. would maybe pique your interest? I mean, the good thing is that like we're not going to monetize it, so there's not going to be issues of do you own the masters this that that. I would say just have an audio file, right? Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Give me your contact information. And it's pretty that simple. You know, mm -hmm. I would say like producers, that's like I said, no brainer. Same thing with artists. Like it helps to, you know, you know, give me a little information on who you are. Have a good Instagram, have your Spotify ready. Because if we include you, because this is going to be Instagram stories, we'll probably leverage YouTube stories for now, right? Mm -hmm. um, just because that format just works the best so that mm -hmm. people can engage. So just make sure you have all your handles ready so that if people are, for instance, on Instagram and it's like 2K7, you know, this is his song, they can click and make sure, you know, you have all your handles ready so that we have those assets ready when people want to check you out. Right. So just, yeah, you no. know, clean up your brand a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And no. be prepared to get some exposure. Yeah, no, I know because a lot of a lot of a lot of artists and producers be sending wild emails that they you know do. we gotta. This is why the MEC exists, so we can kind of coach <laughs> how to communicate professionally to increase your chances of actually getting a response. Uh, but again, nobody deserves a response. You know, you can't you can't say um, you know everybody's not going to hit you back. You're going to get very few responses as you're starting out in the music industry. Uh, but to increase your chances of getting a response, you have to approach people the right way. 